Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn how do you create python alias for a module. When I say alias means a nickname for a module. So first of all what is this module? How do you create this module and how do you really provide a nickname or an alias to a module? We are going to see everything from the start. Now first of all what I will do, I would create a new module. Module means what? In Python module means creating a py file. So let's create a python file. Right click new and I'm going to select python file. Okay. Let's give it a name. Let's say I'm going to give it a name called automate with Rakesh. By the way, this is my channel name. I hope you have already subscribed to my channel. If not, guys, please do subscribe to my channel and do support me. So I'm going to hit on enter. So what would happen? Automate with Rakesh Python file got created. Now in this, I am going to write few lines of Python code. So let's go with a simple one uh, wherein I will say define and I will say uh, greetings and then I'm going to create a parameter called name and then I'm going to hit put a colon mark simple and here I'm going to say anytime this module is used and the function is called it is going to print the name let's say if somebody is typing John Rakesh Rahul whatever he types it is going to automatically say hello and then going to take the name of the person which is being passed so here I will simply say name I'll use the parameter name okay simple done I'm going to save it you can do a control s or maybe save all okay done now in the main.py i would like to import it so generally to import you have to take the entire name of the python file so here something like this you know with the it is case sensitive so i have to type it in the right way so i've done it now if i have to use um, that specific function which we have created named greetings right this is the name of the function now to use this Every time what I do, I will use the name of that module and then I'm putting a dot and then I will call that specific function and here I'm going to pass, let's say I'm going to say John. So what would happen? Now I am not writing any print command in this main.py file. Because I'm using a module, if I run it, the, through the module it will get this John data will pass to that function and it is automatically printing hello John getting it so this is the use of the module i mean you are calling a python file which is set of python codes you are calling that file and using in another python file right in simple terms now it may be sometimes very difficult to take the entire name you can see automate with rakesh i don't want such a big name i would like to make it small for example i'll say as m1 so to create a nickname or alias in python we have to use the keyword called as. So here I'm saying as M1, right? So instead of writing this entire name, what I'm going to say, I'm going to say M1.greetings. So is it going to work? See, it's printing without any error, right? So this is easy, right? When you have to give a nickname rather than a long name, we call it a nickname. Generally to a person who has a long name, we, you know, we give a nickname if he's okay, no, we call by that name right the same way giving a nickname or an alias in technical terms to a module python module so this is how you create it let's say i'm going to pass my own name let's say rakesh or let's say i'm going to say rk so if i do this what would happen hello rk it will say right you can see so that way i'm using a small nickname but you should be careful how you are giving the name you should be able to remember that right so you should give it a proper name so for example, I've given an M1, but you, in, in real programming, you give a proper name. All right, but you understood how to create an alias of a Python module through this video. So thank you guys for, for all the support. I hope you have already subscribed to my channel. In case you have not done it, kindly subscribe to my channel and support me guys. So thank you very much for, for all this. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.